Good day to all my friends. My name is Sanjeevan. I am from Sigiti Tambusami Pillai, Santul. I want to tell you a story. The title of this story is The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once upon a time, there was a shoemaker who, through no fault of his own, had become so poor that he had only enough leather left for one more pair of shoes. Oh, you must make these shoes the best ones I have ever made. He said to himself, For they could be the loss I ever made. So he carefully cut the leather out and left the pieces ready to sew the next day, when it was daylight. Then he blew out the candle and crept into bed. Next morning, he went to begin work and could hardly believe what he saw. There on his workbench was the pair of shoes already made. He picked them up and looked at them. Well, he said, not a stitch out of place. These shoes must have been made by a master craftsman. He put them in his window and that very day a customer came in to buy them. These shoes are the finest I have ever seen cried the man and paid more than the usual price. With the money, the shoemaker was able to buy enough leather to make two pairs of shoes. And that night he cut it out and left it ready to sew the next day. Once again, he found the shoes had already been sewn. Two beautiful pair of shoes sat on the bench. Again, he sold this for more than the usual price and had enough money to buy the leather for four pairs of shoes and these two he sold for a lot of money. This went on for many days and soon the old showmaker was making a comfortable living and no longer feared the future. One day, just before Christmas, he said to his wife, Let's stay up late tonight. Hide in the workshop and see if we can find out who has been helping us. That night, the two of them hid behind a cupboard in a corner of the workshop and waited to see if anything would happen. As the church clock struck midnight, two tiny, barefoot elves in dragged clothes ran into the room. They climbed on the workbench and began stitching and sewing as quickly as could be. All the leather that the shoemaker had left there. The shoemaker and his wife watched in disbelief as the two tiny elves used up all the leather, neatly put the shoes they had made in the press on the bench and then disappeared as quickly as they had come. The old couple went to bed and next day the shoemaker's wife said to her husband, Those two elves have made us rich and I think we should show them how grateful we are. He agreed and asked what they should do. Well, said his wife, their clothes were wet and they had no shoes on their feet, so I think they must be very this winter. I will make them each little shirts, trousers and jackets and knit them long woolen socks and you can make them each a pair of shoes. So that is what they did. The shoemaker and his wife worked hard making the two suits and two pairs of shoes for the elves. She needed long warm woolen stockings when she had finished the suits and then said to her husband, I think I have enough material to make hats for them too. Go to the chicken run and get me two long feathers to put in the hat bags. That will look very smart. On Christmas Eve, everything was finished and the shoemaker's wife wrapped all the clothes up into two little parcels 
and the shoemaker put them on the workbench instead of the pile of pieces of leather. Again, they hid and waited to see what would happen. As midnight struck, the two tiny elves appeared and scampered to the workbench and stopped in surprise at seeing the two parcels. Chuckling, they opened them and burst into delighted laughter. They threw off their tattered clothes and dressed in the fine new ones. Then they danced across the bench singing. Now we are so fine to see, we will no longer work, not we. Dancing and singing, they ran across the floor and out of the door and were never seen again. Nevertheless, the shoemaker continued to prosper and he and his wife lived happily ever after.